Okay. I'm coming in. Uh. Ah. Oh. <laughs> so I spent last week at the International Quilt Festival in Houston, Texas. I hope you've seen some of the videos that I've been putting up because I've had a lot to share. And I think, correct me if I'm wrong, but I think this is the video that a lot of you have been waiting for. I can't say that I blame you, I can't. I'm gonna share with you all of the fun things that I purchased while I was at Quilt Festival. I know. So, okay, as you see, I have a couple really big bags down here that, have fun things in them. So, um, things are a little bit all over the place, but let's go through, shall we? This right here is a ironing mat. Now, it is by Iron, Ironmatic, and it came in this beautiful, bright, yellowy color. What this is, is it is a bundle and it comes with an ironing mat, which is just, it's a big um, kind of a rectangular mat that protects the surfaces of whatever you're ironing on top of. And it comes with like a tiny smaller iron for smaller projects. And then it comes with a pressing cloth as well. So I will have more videos and I will um, link to these products and stuff down in those other videos. I want to make sure, I'm showing you what I got at this quilt festival, but I want to make sure that the products that I actually recommend are good ones, okay? And I saw this at festival, I loved it. I thought I need something like that in my life, but I haven't tested it out for you yet. So be patient with me on that. But um, I can share with you, the company is Ironmatic and they also have some really cool ironing boards and some really fun um, like ironing board covers as well. Everything in here is kind of still like in its original shopping bags. I came home, was very busy with other things and I knew I wanted to make a video on it. So before I went and I dispersed everything and put it where it goes, I just put it in the bag on the floor. So. This is something that I got for myself. I'm gonna show you some better close-up videos of this because you need to see this gorgeous, ouch, <laughs> this gorgeous stiletto. Look at that. Is it not just so pretty? That was a really fun find. What else do I have in here? This is a fat quarter pack that yes, I already undid the ribbon on it and started looking through it. So it's not a quilt kit per se, but I fell in love with this panel that's on top and you can see the photo that I snapped real quick of the panel in the booth. And I walked into that booth and I said, where is that panel? And I needed it. <laughs> so she said, well, the only way that you can buy that pattern or that panel is if you buy the uh, fat quarter pack. So guess who owns the fat quarter pack now? <laughs> I'm going to spread out these so you can see them a little bit better. So you have like your kind of solid with like the brush stroke look to it. They're, they are ombre so you can see that like the colors kind of fade a little bit. There's also some other colors in there that have like a plaid look to them and a very watercolory look to them. They all go together so lovely and it's gonna take me a little bit of time to figure out how to incorporate all of these bright patterns, these bright colors, these very wild prints into one quilt that complements the panel that is with them. So if you have any suggestions on that, I would greatly appreciate some links or some ideas to projects that you think would work really, really well with this. It's a little bit more than what I am able to think of right now and figure out on my own, but I loved it so much and you know, you know if I didn't buy it right then, I would probably never be able to find it again. So I bought it. It's mine now. I can work on it whenever I want. All right. 
last piece that is in this bag here, and don't worry, there's more in the other bag that's over here, that one's the heavy one, is this cool thing right here. Now, I want to give this out a test before I go and reveal everything to you, but this is a silicone mat that helps you with your binding. Okay, it helps you get your binding nice and flat. It has like these things right here that you're binding, you fold it and you thread it through there and then the iron sits on here and it doesn't, the heat doesn't go all the way through here while it's just sitting there for a few minutes. FYI, do not leave your irons sitting on silicone mats for long periods of time, okay? Silicone is really good. It's really good in heat resistance. However, heat still transfers through your silicone, okay? And I've had friends who have had um, cutting mats and other things beneath their silicone mats that have warped. So I really wanna give this one a try and see how this works. The way that she was demonstrating it was amazing. So you put your iron on top here and then you pull your binding through here and it's underneath the iron. So it's a less hands-on approach to ironing your binding straight, making sure that you fold it in half and get that nice crisp seam on the outer side, right? So this is a uh, quilted hearts. It's a binding ease is what this is called. And I believe it came in two different colors, but I'm gonna do a video on this. I'm gonna show you how it works because it was, it was pretty cool. This is probably like one of my favorite, like, ooh, that's so neat things that I found while I was at Quilt Festival. Moving on to my other bag down here. Obviously everything is in no particular order because they just got shoved in my shopping bag while I was down there. As you can see, there are a ton of shops to go through. There is a lot of shopping to be done and a lot of fun to be had. Lots of walking. This is a fabric bundle that I got. It's just um, several random pieces. Let's see, there's one, two, three, four, five, six, half yard cuts and they're just really pretty they're bright colors and i um what can i say it called to me i loved it so i bought it this is a ruler that i purchased it still actually got the plastic on the top so it's it's still like you can't even see it but that plastic helps it keep um from getting scratched while it's you know hanging around in your bag and everything so this ruler that i got is pretty cool it actually does not have any measurements on this ruler which doesn't make it all that useful unless you have certain patterns to go with it check this out how adorable is she so this is a mini pieces theory and she does bam cute cute patterns okay see look at that like the nerd in me got so excited when i saw these and this ruler that goes with it every single piece that is made in these pixelated patterns can be cut from this ruler okay so we have the rectangle piece you have the square piece which is right here and then you have the smaller rectangle which is right here so all of the pieces are cut very easily with this ruler it might be a little bit hard to see but there are lines on the ruler that make it very easy for you to cut the right size pieces without having to mess with a whole lot of measuring, right? The other things that I wanna show you that I got, technically I didn't get from Quilt Festival. I actually got them from Sample Spree, which was a part of Quilt Market. And I talked a little bit about Sample Spree in like the live video that I did, and I shared a little bit more about it, um, you know, as I was going through my other videos, but these weren't out on the quilt floor I guess you could say okay so this is from Co Poppy Cotton and this is a charm pack and then I got the matching layer cake that goes with it so this one is called hide and seek and it's by Mackenzie Elston and it just it looked really really cute let me show you let me show you what these look like so you can kind of do like a little bit of a thumb through they just look very fresh 
happy, lots of fun, bright, springy colors, right? And so I, I fell in love with these and I was able to snag these at Sample Spree. Like I was saying at Sample Spree, you don't really get a chance to decide, mm, do I love it? Should I buy it? Is this like worth the money? Am I gonna use this? You don't get that kind of time. Who has that kind of time when you're at Sample Spree? <laughs> at Sample Spree, it was, if you got it in your hands, at least this was my take from it, okay? This was my take from it. If you got it in your hands, you had to give them the money very quickly because there were so many people. It was just, it was crowded. It was busy. It was, it was wild. All right. And then also from Poppy Cotton, I got this six fat quarter bundle and I haven't even taken it out of the package yet, but you can see like, they're just a really nice light kind of a semi neutral color palette. And I really liked them. Yeah. I was able to snag two of these as well. From the Moda booth at Sample Spree, I was able to grab two fat quarter packs. Now, this one I already have plans for and I'm very excited. You'll be seeing how and what I make out of this uh, fat quarter pack very soon. This one um, you will be seeing, I don't know when, okay? Because I loved it. I didn't know why, but I loved it. It was probably because I was still feeding off of like these colors and vibes. So this one is called Imaginary Flowers. And look at how beautiful all of these go together. It just, it feels very floral, almost like a Victorian feel to me with like these soft kind of like rosy pinks and like the you know, moss green colors, except it goes into a little bit of a teal and a navy. And then there's some, some really, um, there are some blacks in here too. So it kind of has like this just very soft, dainty feel to it. And I really fell in love with it. Okay. I may have counted, I may have miscounted on this. I got 31 fat quarters here. Like I said, I may have miscounted, but in any case, there is a lot of variety here and there is so many things that can be done with fat quarters. So I don't know. This one is, is gorgeous. I love it. I'm going to have to figure out something fun to do with it. If you have any ideas for the fabrics that I'm showing you and you're like, that needs to go on this project. Kristen will love this. You know, we have like that type of friendship, right? You need to write it in the comments down below so that I see it because I love being inspired by your ideas. Okay. Last but not least, let's look at this one. This one has kind of like a celestial um, theme to it, which, yeah, I had to have it when I saw it in the Moda booth. So it's got navies and then it goes all the way up into these like lighter um, kind of pale blues and then it goes into the creams and whites up here and it is just beautiful it has some like lighter gray tones in here and some creams and some whites but it's very monotone very beautiful this one is called starry sky and like i said when i saw it it was mine it had to be mine so ta-da that's what I came home with from festival this year. If you would like to see some of the other years that I have gone shopping at festival, I have gotten more in the past. This year I was really going in with like a clutch around my wallet, like I explained earlier. So sometimes you got to do that. Um, I still feel like I was able to get some really good deals. I love the fabric purchases that I have. I kind of tamed myself on the pattern collecting this year but i had a wonderful time and i hope that you enjoyed seeing the beautiful things that i got to collect i am going to wrap this up i hope that you have a wonderful day and i hope that you do something today that brings you so much joy in your heart even if it's just to create something for like five minutes. Do something creative that brings you joy today. I'm Kristen with icstarsquilting.com. Please make sure that you subscribe to this channel for more tips, tricks, and tutorials for the modern quilter. Have a great day. Bye.